An echo of an echo is the semblance of a sound And I've pressed and I've waited with my ear upon the ground Oh lover, I'll see you there Waiting in the willows with your autumn hair Oh lover, I'll see you there After many miles I would describe Hollowell as eclectic with art, music, and good food. That's one of the best filet preparations I've ever tasted. That's something else. This is a 1906 farmhouse. We're in the bucolic rolling countryside of Hollowa, Maine. We're Maine's only bungee fitness gym. We're gonna have a lot of fun flying around like Peter Pan, basically. <laughs> this is the main life. This is my friend, <laughs> the best life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, president and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank, and once again, proud presenting sponsor of Main Life, a show that's dedicated to telling positive stories about life right here in Maine. We hope this episode inspires you to get out and enjoy Maine and all it has to offer. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Maine Life and welcome to Hollowell, Maine. We are excited for this episode, but we are gonna start with some good and bad news. What do you want first? I think we should get the bad news out of the way. Okay, we've been talking for weeks now about going smelting, and unfortunately, we were supposed to be here with Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy Worthing. Here on the Kennebec smelting, and the weather just absolutely did not cooperate this year for us. But no Jimmy, ice. we're coming for you next year. For sure. However, we do have another activity planned. Thank you. <laughs> I think you'll be quite surprised and excited to see what we have for you. The good news, everybody, is over the weekend, your main concierge, yes, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but she is engaged I to be married to Paul. Paul, thank you for including me in this awesome surprise. It was a surprise to me too. We had dinner plans at Alice and Lulu's at Sugarloaf. One of our favorite spots. Yes, and when she went to the bathroom, I decided to have a little heart to heart with Paul and say, you know, dude, what's going on? It's been a few years now. And he goes, well, a matter of fact, and pulled out this ring box and I nearly passed out. I was screaming, scream whispering for bubbles. <laughs> and as soon as she came out, here's the video. Oh this no. This is, yes. Wearing my finest Carhartt. Thank you, Kittery Trading Post. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> but you were so shocked. I was shocked. I had no idea. And once it happened, I just want to thank you for sharing it with folks before I even got a chance to tell my mother. I was really thank excited. You. All right, show everybody your beautiful Maine tourmaline. That's what you I wanted. I feel like J-Lo, but it is Maine, <laughs> real Maine tourmaline from Bethel. And our friend Seth from Harvest the Light did the beautiful white gold setting. So, yep. You're excited. Okay, tell us about the wedding plans. We don't have any wedding plans yet, but but, <laughs> <laughs> but when we do, it will include lots of food, <laughs> lots of great drink, and every chef and <laughs> restaurant owner and bartender is going to be expected to bring something to share with us. So yes, it I'm should be so fun. happy for you. It was a great night. Okay, on to the episode. Congratulations. Thank you. I can't wait for you to say yes to the dress. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I was wearing a flannel dress. <laughs> we're going shopping. No, we're not. All right, my belly is rumbling. We're going to be heading now to one of our favorite spots in Hallowell, Slate's Bakery. Slate's Bakery. Let's, Let's go. go. Here we are at Slate's Bakery in the very quaint downtown of Hollowell overlooking the Kennebec and I'm so excited to be back. My friend, this is your old stomping grounds. I used to stop here at Slate's Bakery every morning before heading to the State House for coffee, muffins, coffee cake, whipped peanut butter pies. Just about everything in here is something that I've had many times over. So that was her past life. Can Nothing's changed really, huh? Nothing's changed, but I haven't <laughs> been back in a long time and I'm hungry, so I'm eager to get in there. So behind us is the bakery and then we're gonna go get some goodies and next to us is Slate's Restaurant, the owner, Wendy. I haven't seen her in a few years as well. She is so sweet. Speaking of sweet, let's go get some uh, goodies. Yay! Good morning, Marianne. Good oh, morning. Oh, oh, what yeah. do we have here? Wow. Coffee first? Yes. yes. Coffee first. Yes. Dark magic. That is what I need right here. I have my eyes on 
that peanut butter fudge swirl pie. How about we'll take the small one? And okay. then one of each muffin. Then. And then the coffee cakes. Marianne, can I get a frosted sugar cookie for Brooks, my son? Of course you can. I want one too. He will be so excited. So two of these. And the hermits are... Oh my word, um, will you stop well, it? This are is... Wendy's family recipe. Well, actually most of this is Wendy's family <laughs> recipe. That's why she started the bakery. Okay. And We're, I'm done, Marianne. Cut her off. <laughs> Cut her off. You guys have a good assortment. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Hello, this is Slate's Restaurant, and Slate's Bakery is right next door. We've been here for 43 years. I guess remembering Hollowell when, I, when we first came, it was a very different place. It was a dirty river with huge potential, old buildings that hadn't been destroyed, and I fell in love with it. It was full of antique dealers and artists and I, I wanted to be a part of that. From the very beginning, we made our own bread, our own pasta. So we expanded and became a bakery as well. I thought initially we'd just be baking for the restaurant, but people wanted a bakery. We just love the bakery. It's hard not to be happy when you're actually baking or selling cookies. You know, I mean, it's like, how can you be unhappy? <laughs> it's a good place. <laughs> I've been here for a little over 40 years and I work mostly dinners, also brunch, but I've done all the different jobs since in 40 years, I've done everything here. What kept you here for 40 years? Um, it's just a fun, creative place to work and Wendy's great, has a great boss and great friend and it's just been, yeah, a really fun, creative place to work. They're my family, you know, they, they truly are. If, if you know somebody and care about them for 40 years or 30 years or 15 years, you can't um, not in some way love them. <laughs> we have a great time together, we smile, we love it. Thank you, Wendy. You must come for dinner or brunch, <laughs> so 10 good. to two, Sundays, home cooked everything. Wow. If you don't come and really get one good. of these whipped peanut butter pies, you are not <laughs> living a right life. <laughs> you're not living a main life if you're not coming to get this pie right now. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> and now let's go work out. <laughs>
flying around like Peter Pan, basically. <laughs> The bungee's job is to pull you up while your job is to pull them down, so it is resistance training, but they add the assistance to it so that it's low impact. A normal workout is 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, you can burn up to 400 calories, and you don't even realize that you're burning it. If somebody has a disability, we can actually add more resistance so they have more assistance on one side or the other of their body to help them do the workout. It's just so much fun, so much fun for exercise that I just became an instructor. It's what we needed. It's especially coming from um, our COVID time where we were you know, just kind of home and it was just a great place to come and network and work out and just laugh. We become great bungee buddies. And we're bungee buddies. Yeah. As adults, we forget to have fun and we get old, but we actually are getting immobile. And our idea as adults revolve around what is fun for kids. It's not what fun for us adults, it's what do the kids want to do. So all of a sudden when you get on these bungees, you feel like a kid again and you're jumping around and you're having fun and you don't feel pain in your knees, it's low impact. So all of a sudden afterward you realize, oh my God, I just had a major workout and I was laughing the entire time. So that's why I'm really passionate about this. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. Did you know how fun this would be when you put this itinerary together? Not this much fun. <laughs> so much fun. It does take a little bit to get used to the bungees and get used to the process, but we have people that come three or four times a week, morning and night. And so, and these doors open in the summertime. Right. So we have these big 14 foot garage doors that open during the summertime. So it's nice and breezy and the sunlight's coming in. So you don't feel like you're in that industrial building Strobe anymore. Strobe light smoke. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Birthday we, yeah. parties. So we also host birthday parties and neon bungee where it's all retro and we have black lights and disco lights and fog machines where you get to work out and have fun. So book your party. Yes. <laughs> and who am I, what am I wearing again? This is the X-Gravity All-Star cheerleading uniform, <laughs> which we're going to be ordering one for Erin now. <laughs> She'll become an honorary cheerleader for us. And you just kicked butt, right? Yes, second we just place. second place at the Foxwoods All-Star Showdown. And next month we go to Providence for US finals. Making Maine wow. proud. Yes. 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 This is so great. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, everybody. So fun. We always believe that we're not just selling and servicing vehicles. To be involved with teachers and students creates a purpose for everything we do on a daily basis. And from the first moment when I saw the first bus and how excited they were to enter the dealership and I saw the smiles and then to see the bus number two and bus number three and now you have almost 100 kids filling up the showroom floor. It was truly incredible. We believe in making the experience easier and we wanted to bring the joy in the process. We wanted to see a smile when somebody buys a vehicle. I think now it's, it's almost our way to pay back to the community that rewarded us over so many years. To nominate a teacher, a class or a school, or apply for funds, please look for Keep Driving Foundation on BerlinCity.com. It takes a long time to build a reputation, and we've been at it for over 150 years. We come to work each and every day to grow that reputation. It's always been about respect, generosity, and doing what's right for the customer. Whether we're helping local businesses finance their future or supporting community programs, our goal is to create lasting relationships rooted in trust. We're a local bank run by local people, so we're invested in making our community stronger. I'm Craig Garofalo, and I invite you to come into a Kennebec Savings Bank branch today and experience the difference. The Travis Mills Foundation Veterans Retreat Center was started because my wife and I wanted to give back. Central Maine Power has been a huge factor in our success, so I want to thank them and the whole team over there for all they've done to help support us and push us forward. Central Maine Power is proud to support the Travis Mills Foundation and all veterans across the state of Maine and our country. Without our veterans, we wouldn't be the country we are today, the state we are today, and probably not the company we are today. It's great to be able to do good for the communities we serve. 
Welcome back, everybody. We certainly burned our calories, I'd say, from this morning. We did indeed. That was so much fun. Johnny even tried it, would you think? Scary at first, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely book your bungee adventure. <laughs> um, okay, so now we are checking into our beautiful accommodations. This is a lovely ride from Gardner to downtown Hollowell, and we are now at? We're now checking into the Maple Hill Farm Bed and Breakfast and Conference Center, and I think we have some friends <laughs> over there behind us. We've got some llamas and those uh, kitty cats that greeted us just now. Let's uh, meet the owner. Okay, Scott's a good friend. Let's go see him. Hi, Scott. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Good to see you again. Good nice to meet you. Hi, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Thank Welcome you. to Maple Hill Farm. Hi, everybody. Let me check you into your rooms and then show you around. Great. Sounds great. This is a 1906 farmhouse. Oh. We have eight guest rooms, all with private baths. We're in the bucolic rolling countryside of Hollowa, Maine, just outside Augusta, the state capital. I've been here for 31 years, so in 1992, I purchased the place at a foreclosure auction. It had been just a small bed and breakfast, but we've done a lot of work over the years, a lot of additions to uh, turn it into a full service conference center as well. But we've still kept the small B&B flavor for the lodging part of it. So the farm, we, we've downsized. In the past, we've had a lot more animals, but we have six llamas, but they're just pets. And then we have a bunch of chickens down in the barn, so they produce eggs for breakfast. So they're hardworking girls down in the barn. And then two cats at the end, and that's, that's it. <laughs> so Aaron, since you haven't been here before, this is our gallery. We feature works of local artists within a half an hour of here. Oh great, they're for all, sale too. All for sale, absolutely. Beautiful. And this is also our breakfast room. We have a full menu that we serve to each guest. And we also do a continental stuff here as well. This is our little pub area. We have a Cute. full liquor service. And Fancy seeing you here. You look really comfortable. <laughs> I'm almost comfortable. I will be more comfortable with a chocolate espresso martini. We do have a full liquor license. This is the only place where you can sleep and have a drink in the greater Augusta area. And it's fun. We will do packages if people want to have a little romantic package with champagne and strawberries, perhaps, in their rooms. Or they can order a drink from the bar anytime up till 11 o'clock at night. This is the main life. This is my friend. <laughs> the best life. <laughs> we do over 200 events a year here. So it's a really busy place. We do an awful lot of business meetings, association events, conferences. You name it. We've done a little bit of everything. So Aaron, since we're so close to Augusta, we do mm -hmm. a lot of events that involve state government. And this is a lovely organizational chart that goes back to 1961. Well, bring me it's back to history really class, cool, Really eh? cool history. We have a wall down here of famous people's pictures that has four governors on it. Oh, great. So far, we've met a lot of people over the years. It's been a bit of fascinating life to do. Sure, I and, bet. Uh, if the walls uh, could talk, that's I right. like to say. <laughs> I've been here 31 years. 10 of those years, I was also a state legislator. During much of that time, I chaired the Natural Resources Committee. I really believe in enjoying and, and respecting the beauty of the state of Maine. We're very proud of our sustainability efforts here and, and uh, being recognized for those over the years. We were the state's first environmental leader certified lodging establishment. And just a few years ago, Yankee Magazine named us one of the best five green hotels and inns in all of New England. We're very proud of that recognition. Now this is our little dining room. Sometimes we do breakfast in here for our guests when we just have a few guests, but also it's a place where they can hang out and have a snack. Did anytime. you make all of this? I did. Welcome. Yummy. Vince is the Thank other you, owner of the inn and in charge of all the cooking that goes on here. He makes everything from scratch. Oh my so goodness. Nice. What all is this little bar? Everything. It's a razzmatazz. A razzmatazz. A little razzle-dazzle. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this is truly beautiful. It's so much fun to meet people every day and to make people happy. That's really, that's the mission of my job. If I haven't made somebody happy, I'm not doing it right. Hi everyone, welcome to Mugalian Rugs here in East Bayside, Portland, Maine. We specialize in handmade rugs from all over the world, whether it be in-stock rugs that we have in the store, or if you want to sit with us and do custom rugs with custom colors and shapes and sizes, we provide that as well. When you walk in the doors here, you'll be greeted with the best customer service that we've been providing locally for 44 years. So thank you everyone for shopping local, and we hope to see you here at Mugalian Rugs sometime soon.
welcome Aaron and Vanessa. Thank you guys for filming at Bistro Meliar. It's a little French and Italian place that I named after my mom. We've been open not even a year yet. We're a brand new restaurant. I would say the crux of the menu is my pasta. People generally come here to eat pasta and drink wine, like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Fort Fairfield, Maine, and Arusa County. I moved downstate in the Portland area. That's where I started cooking in restaurants, and I just really loved it. I was just really into Italian cooking, and this new restaurant came in. There was this big buzz around town about Solo Italiano, and this, I think they, they were like, oh, he's like a Michelin star chef, and all like these rumors were circling around, so I, I brought my resume over there, and that was a life-changing decision because Working with Paolo is like, he, he is an artist. He is the kitchen, you know? And he, he took me under his wing in a way, which gave me confidence. And then from there, I've just been trying to get here to have my own place. So here it is, here I am. I've never even been in Hollowell before I opened this place. And it was quite awesome to just discover how like artistic this town is. Any given night, there's live music, like in multiple places around town. And to be a part of that community is fantastic. This actually used to be the old bar room of Slates. When I got into this space, there was the, the bar was still here. But, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Bistro Milliard. I'm thinking I could make a dinner reservation for the 29th. Sure, how many people? Bye. <laughs> Are you Vanessa's mom? <laughs> She's here right now filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you there. Bye, mom. Bye bye. <laughs> that's that's kind of that's good for the show, right? <laughs> So first course, we have a duck confit. It's totally local, uh, mainly poultry. I cured it for 24 hours, confit it for about five hours in olive oil. I paired it with um, a completely local uh, fresh salad and we're pairing it with a rosé from Beaujolais, so enjoy. That is really spectacular. Cheers. So course two, I have braised cannellini beans with fennel sausage and kale. Uh, to me, this is the essence of Tuscany, so with this dish, I paired the Tuscan wine. It's the Chianti. Third course tonight is a braised Debo calamari. I braise it down in a little bit of tomato, cognac, and I'm serving this with a farro ragu. Very healthy, um, and we're pairing it with a vermentino. Again, another Tuscan wine. This one's white, and it's super funky and great. Pasta course tonight. <laughs> Guys, this is, uh, yeah, it's the gnocchi. <laughs> I view this as my signature dish. It's a unique preparation. It's a light tomato basil sauce, pecorino cheese and black pepper over the top, and uh, that nebbiolo is gonna cut through that cheese and pepper quite nicely, so. Potato gnocchi Enjoy. or ricotta gnocchi? Russet gnocchi. Hey, being a county boy, I have. Yeah! <laughs> Enough said, so. Enjoy, guys, thank you. The final course tonight is uh, my filet mignon. Um, it's kind of a unique preparation. We have fried mortadella, a brioche, uh, the filet on top, and then I have a compound butter and a demi-gloss sauce um, that's infused with Madeira um, around the side. So Thank you. enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You and by the way, this is this is a red Bordeaux, by the way. It's, oh, yes. it's my favorite wine on the list. So All right. Enjoy. Yes. Yes. Save the best yeah. for Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, this is really great. That's something else, I'll tell you right now. Mm. I'm gonna lose my mind over this dish right now. Holy cow. That's one of the best filet preparations I've ever tasted. That's something else. Woo! That's something else. Hollow on me! <laughs> that but oh my god. <laughs> And then we're gonna I'm gonna start crying. I can't because I just really need to eat that. Just Vanessa is speechless. I really and am. won't stop I... eating, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hollowell and Gardner. Another great Main Life episode. See you in the spring. Yeah, in the come on down. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Main Life. To follow our adventures, you can check us out on Facebook, Main Life Media, my Instagram, at Erin O'Valley. Thank you so much to New Center Maine, our sponsors, and to all of you. Happy adventuring, shop local, and we'll see you next week. Yes, that sounds great. And then we can show, and then you can show. Then I'll show you around. <laughs> <laughs>
Why am I screwing up? I never screw up. Oh yeah, I, I see the I see the bloopers at the end. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. Chicken in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Redo it. I don't like it. No, no, no. Nope. I don't like. I don't like that. No. All right. I don't like that. No. Do it over. No. You've got that spirit, hard rock and grooving to the beat, moving to the beat. Don't make me do that. Maine. No. 